Welcome back to the Tip of the Iceberg podcast, brought to you as always by Inside the Penguins. We're going to finish off this episode, a little bit of a shorter episode, with a little name that stat line, a segment in which I bring a stat line in a certain year, and Horowat gets three guesses to try and attempt to figure out which Pittsburgh Penguin I'm talking about. He does also get a couple hints, but... We all try to do it without the hints, right, Horwat? Always. Always try to do it. So the last time we did it, I'm pretty sure you were three for three. It's been a while. It's been a minute, yeah. But this one is because we're almost to the end of the Stanley Cup Finals and Stanley Cup Playoffs. So this is the Stanley Cup Playoffs edition of Name That Stat Line. These stat lines are from the entirety of a playoff season for the Pittsburgh Penguins. And just to keep it fun, all five, count them five of them this time, will be one from each of the Pittsburgh Penguins Stanley Cup championship victories. So we're going to mix them up, throw them in the scrambler, Mm -hmm. and we're going to start with 1992 Horwat. The stat line is 21 games played, 13 goals, and 28 points in the 1992 Stanley Cup playoffs, in which the Pittsburgh Penguins won the Stanley Cup over the Chicago Blackhawks. You said 21 games? 21 games played. How many did we play that that year? That it was had to be year, all 21. That was the year the Pittsburgh Penguins won, I believe, 11 straight games. Yeah. To finish. Would they have hit 10 before then? Yeah, that has to be that has to be the entire series, the entire playoffs and all 21. Uh 13 goals. I'm just gonna go Yarmir Yager. That is incorrect. You have two more guesses. Yarmir Yager would have been an option, but I didn't want to go that easy. Oh, not that easy. Ron Francis. That's also not correct. You have one guess left. And you have a couple of hints if you want to use either of them. No, nah, because the hints give it away, and I like some challenges. Maybe I'll use okay. hints later. <laughs> yeah. So you got one guess left. 1992, 21 games played, 28 points and 30, or 13 goals. The thing is, he would, so I'm assuming he played in every game, so it's taking Lemieux out of it for me. Because mm-hmm. I just don't assume Lemieux played all every game in any playoff. <laughs> That's probably a pretty safe assessment. In uh, 92, so I couldn't, so I'm not throwing Recky in there, but maybe it was Rick Tockett. Rick Tockett is your final answer? Yes. Rick Tockett is also incorrect. Okay. The 1992 playoffs, 21 games played, 13 goals, 28 points. Kevin Stevens. That, that makes more sense. That makes yeah. a ton of sense. If you would have thrown yeah. penalty minutes in there, I would have nailed Here's it. Here's the thing. When you go over a point a game, usually you think, oh, yeah. it could be a lot of players. But with the 1991 and 92 Penguins, there's a lot of players that went over a point a game. So Kevin Stevens being one of them, that was the correct answer. Horwat, you're 0 for 1. Hopefully, we'll see if you at home, if you're listening to this and you're trying to play along and be honest about it, let us know how you did on this. Let us know if you got it correctly in three guesses. Horwat, currently you're 0 for 1. Let's move to 2009 then. The 2009 Stanley Cup playoffs, the Pittsburgh Penguins ran the gauntlet for the first Stanley Cup championship of the Sidney Crosby era. They beat the Detroit Red Wings in seven games. The anniversary of that was about a week and a half ago. So in that playoffs, this player played in 24 games, had 14 goals, and 36 points. Okay, so 24 is all of the games again. Mm -hmm. How many? Wait, read that one more time. 24 games, 14 goals, and 36 points. 36 and 24, is that uh, Malkin's Conn Smythe victory? That is correct. And Benny yeah. Malkin did have that stat line. 24 games played, 14 goals, 36 points, including one assist in game seven against the Detroit Red Wings, taking home the Conn Smythe trophy that postseason. So you're one for two. Stupid stat line. I think it was 36 points in 2009 against, excuse me, four. I mean, you got to remember, he blew up in the Carolina, Carolina series. It was only four games. Yeah. He had a hat trick for sure in, in one of those games. Game two. I believe it was, yeah, because it was it was on home ice at the Igloo at that point. Yeah, because he beat Matt Cullen on the face off. Oh, man. Always nice to go back and watch those. I don't know. Maybe I should watch Pittsburgh is home again. They just, ad- they just tweeted about him not that long ago. That might be why I thought about it. Yeah. But uh, 
So you're one for two. Let's go back into the 90s. Let's talk about 1991, the first ever Stanley Cup championship for the Pittsburgh Penguins, taking down the Minnesota North Stars. Everybody obviously remembers Lemieux's goal on Casey, the iconic goal. This player, however, had 24 games played in that season, that playoff season, scored 10 goals, but had 34 points. In 24 games. Again, I believe that's all of them. Mm -hmm. So again, not Lemieux. Yeah. It is not Mario Lemieux. Plus, I basically just said it wasn't Mario Lemieux in my in my speech there. Yeah. <laughs> plus, why? Plus, Mario is just the easy answer. Uh, yes. Okay, so he's thirty four points in twenty four games, and it's not Kevin Stevens because I doubt you use the same player twice. So I'm gonna go back to the old, go back to the old well of Yarmir Yager. No, it is not Yarmir Yager. Uh oh, you know what? I'm gonna say Mark Recchi because I didn't say him in the last one. It is Mark Recchi. Look at that. The Wrecking Ball had 10 goals and 34 points in 24 games played. That was the first ever Stanley Cup playoff season for Mark Recchi, but his third season overall for the Pittsburgh Penguins. He went on to win Stanley Cups with three different franchises. Horwat, bonus question. Can you name the other two teams Mark Recchi won a Stanley Cup with? Boston and Carolina. There you go. That was an easy one. You don't actually get bonus credit, but you are <laughs> two for three in this name that stat line. Let's move up to 2017. The 2017 Stanley Cup Finals. Of course, the Pittsburgh Penguins taking down the Nashville Predators on a great back-to-back -back performances from Matt Murray, who just popped up as a buyout candidate on Frank Saravalli's daily face-off oh, no. article. <laughs> so uh, maybe Matt Murray a return to Pittsburgh? Let's hope. No, uh, that's, let's, that's a, let, no thanks. That, that's, that's, a, that's a hard no. But in that 2017 postseason, this player played in 25 games, scored 13 goals, and totaled 21 points. 21 and you said 25? 21 points and 25 games played. They played 25 games that playoffs. Oh, yes. yeah. Seven, seven, six, five. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. 21 points and 25. Mm -hmm. Jake Gensel. It was Jake Gensel. I didn't even, was, I totally forgot the number of goals you said. That should have been the giveaway. The 13 goals? 13. Yes. Yeah, your guesses for that one was actually probably the best guesses you probably would have gotten. Would you have gotten this answer correctly if I would have said played in the USHL for the Sioux City Musketeers in 2012-13? No. Would that, would that have helped at all? Oh, maybe if I would have thought deeply about it. And then the second was son of a ho college hockey coach. There it is. You would have gotten coach. that one. Coach's yeah. son. Coach's son, Jake Gensel. That was his first ever season. That's why he became playoff Jake Gensel. Yep. And uh, you're three for four. Out of nowhere, 75 or 750 batting average, if that's how you want to play it. So, one left. Can you continue this winning streak? You've gotten two in a row. Horwat, can you finish it off on a high note? The 2016 Stanley Cup playoffs. The Pittsburgh Penguins return to prominence against the San Jose Sharks, winning it in the Shark Tank. 24 games played. Four goals, 18 points. Four goals, 18 All right, four goals. Mm -hmm. Who didn't score a lot? I'm thinking defensively. Because <laughs> he's at 18 points and 20. Chris Letang. It is not Chris Letang, no. And you do have hints. You haven't used a hint yet. I will use one of them on this one just because I want to hear a hint. Okay. Your hint is this player has now played in 13 NHL seasons. Has now played in 13. Four goals. 13. Mm -hmm. What year is it now? <laughs> 2022. <laughs> I don't know. Are you trying to subtract to get to his draft year? Or are you, are you somebody kind of that does. knows people based has on now draft year? Ah, that I don't know if that really helps. <laughs> well, it's played in third. To, yeah, because I can't do math right now. <laughs> that would be the 2009 NHL draft. Order. 2009. Okay. <laughs> I don't know why my head is with me like 2001. What? Oh, wait, That's no, two, right. 2008. Because technically, we haven't had the draft yet. Yeah. Four goals though. Only four goals, but he did have 18 points. Yeah, he did. Damn. 
it's slightly hard. Who was on that team? <laughs> yeah. It, it, th- there was a lot of players on that team, 20 to be exact, that usually played. Okay, four goals. I just need to go back to the well here. <sighs> yeah, you, you got two you got two left. You do have another hint. Dead giveaway hint. <laughs> it is the dead giveaway hint. Dead gi- I'll take it. Dead giveaway hint. I don't want to keep running this long. You don't need to see me sitting here struggle. <laughs> he played on the famous HBK line in 2016. Phil Kessel. It was not Phil Kessel. Okay. Phil Kessel had two goals in game six against the Capitals. So Yeah, I know. That's why I was like, there's four. no... I, I well, When you said there's four two, goals, yeah, I immediately two. took out all three of those guys. Interesting. Because um, guess what? Now you have one guest left and two players left on that line. Yeah. Damn. Four goals. Okay, who scored the least on that? Nick Benino. It was Nick Benino. Okay. I, I don't think he scored the least. I, I think he scored more than, than Carl Hagelin. I don't think Hagelin had more than four goals. We'll have to go back and check the tapes on that one. But that is Nick Benino. Only four goals, one of which being the famous Bonino, Bonino, Bonino overtime winner against the Washington Capitals in game six. And, and Horwat, just like that, you got four out of five correct. Are you happy with your performance? Do you think you could have done a little bit better? Do you regret not saying Kevin Stevens in the first one? That's that's the only one that separated you from a perfect performance here. I my biggest regret is saying Phil Kessel for my second answer, even after the hit, because uh, he I forgot he led the team in playoff scoring that year. He should have won with, the uh, Conn Smythe Trophy over Cross. with ten goals and twelve assists. <laughs> Nick Benino four fourteen. Carl Hagelin six ten. He had six goals. Yeah, man, that's. So whenever you said four goals, I immediately took out the HBK line, but also put Nick Benino back in my head because I thought he was the one that scored the least. But then I remembered the goal you mentioned. Mm -hmm. Plus, I think he did that at least one more time. He scored in game one of the Stanley Cup finals, the game winner with two minutes left. Yeah. So I was immediately like, okay, well, there's still that possibility of him having more than I'm not remembering. Yeah. Uh, But yeah, so... That's the one I put back into my head. That's why I don't know. Again, I don't know why I said Phil Kessel. That was my big dumb mistake. You just thought 2016 Kessel. Well, I. <laughs> <laughs> you did oh. say who was on the team, and you were not wrong that Kessel was on the team. He just scored more than Nick Benino did. Right. Where? How many? Chris Tang also had three goals to 12 assists. So my first. That was close. Kind of close. That was that was kind of close. I don't know. Tom Kunockel. <laughs> See. I don't know. I don't remember what he did. I two, know he, three. two and three. Yeah. I, he clearly was not going to be the one that had 18 points, but uh, that is the end of name that stat line. The answers were Kevin Stevens from 1992, Evgeny Malkin's playoffs in 2009, which netted him the Conn Smythe trophy, Mark Recchi in 1991, Jake Gensel in 2017 and Nick Benino in 2016 let us know how you did did you go five for five did you go oh for five in which case you might want to brush up on your penguins history we should do this more often whole lot yeah absolutely prove prove our prove our knowledge a little bit well your knowledge i just kind of sit back and 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 play as the taskmaster <laughs> that's that, that's gonna do it for this episode of the tip of the iceberg thank you guys so much for tuning in hopefully everybody is enjoying the stanley cup finals as much as we are but that's going to do it for this one we'll see you guys next time have a great week penguins fans